LSU last weekend, lost two or three to South Carolina. And some fans got worried, but I'm sure Coach Maneri was not one of them. Uh, came back this weekend series and uh, really, really brought it to Florida. Well, I wasn't happy we lost those games last week, and I can assure you of that. But, you know, in a long season, 56 games, you're just going to have some lulls. There's just no question about it. We've only lost six games all year and four out of 49 tries. And I believe that's the best that LSU has ever done. So, you know, when, when you have a stub of your toe, you just can't build it up too big in your mind. You just got to keep your confidence and your enthusiasm and your poise and come back strong. And I think our players did that this week. Starting with Tuesday against McNeese State, I thought they played with a lot of fire. They really got after it. And then this weekend, what can you say? You know, we had outstanding starting pitching performances all three days. Our defense was outstanding. And then finally today, the conditions were a little more conducive to it. We really swung the bats well. So you got to be happy with the sweep of the Florida Gators. You don't get an opportunity to do that very often. Yeah, it's the first time since 2001. And talk about the 18 run output today. It's the biggest of the season for y'all. Nothing seemed to go wrong for y'all today. <laughs> Well, uh, it, they, we got off to a, a tough start there in the first inning, so our kids, you know, could have hung their daubers and, and you know thought, well, we've won the series, but they didn't. They kept fighting back. Uh, we got a big two-run double from Jacoby in the, uh, I think it was the third inning, if I'm not mistaken, and then Andrew Stevenson put a ball in play to be able to score us another run to give us the lead, and then from there, Ryan held him down. Ryan Eads pitched great. And then we started swinging the bats and had a couple of big innings, crooked numbers, big crooked numbers, which are always fun to see. And uh, I just thought our guys played great. You know, they played with a great deal of determination, uh, a lot of class, a lot of poise, and they just they just got after it. And you know, we were able to finish the job today. Uh, Aaron Nola again, his fourth series in a row where he's thrown a complete game. I mean, he's almost like a guarantee to throw a complete game, it seems like now. Well, you got to be careful that you don't feel that way because it, it, people have no idea how hard it is to do that. First of all, you have to be very good, uh, but also you have to be very efficient with your pitches because uh, if your pitch count starts to get up there, I'm not going to let him you know, throw an inordinate amount of pitches. I care too much about this kid's future. Uh, and and um, you know, so he's, these four outings have all been between 100 and 109 pitches, which is really efficient. We're, not, we're never going to go into a game with the idea that he's going to pitch a complete game. But, you know, like last night, he, he was out there after eight innings, 94 pitches, pitching a shutout. I mean, why not send him back out there? Thanks so much, Coach. Fred, next weekend, they go to A&M for a big three-game series.